tonight, Kai was ran over by a car. Patrick realised he was very short and I was locked in a shed. Hello and welcome to a Mock Gear special. Now yes, from last series we have downsized slightly and the fans and the audience have slightly gone on holiday a bit, but never mind. Get ready for what's coming up next. Welcome to the news at Top Gear. Uh, let's start off. This is Jeremy, or as we know him, Josh. He's yeah. tall, he's got short hair and probably will go bald. He's headstrong, doesn't think things through, and has terrible ideas. And he's a UKIP fan, so you never know, he might be a little bit racist. You can't put that in, you muppet. Yes, I can. You can't put that on for Christ's you sake. Can. You yeah, can. Yeah, I can. You can. I just did. Kai is obviously James May because he's smart, but slow. He's not got any common sense, he's got stupidly long hair. It's not long. And, yes it is, it and is. he's just flat out ridiculous and partially boring, James May. And of course I'm the lovable short guy with dark hair that's only the intelligent one, Hammond, or Patrick. We would like to start by wishing Jeremy Clarkson our full support after he was told that his contract with Top Gear will not be renewed after his current contract is up. All of that over a cold sandwich. Yeah. But he did punch somebody for goodness sake. Why go oh, around punching somebody? Well, yes, That's well he's punched people. We still, for some reason, are friends with him. And in the news this week, we would like to start off by wishing Citroen Picasso, the Sara, uh, 15th anniversary this year of uh, that tremendous car which has been broke down on the side of the A1 for years now. Yeah. 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 Oh, and people have decided if you want something to run with, Big time. and you want something lightweight, affordable, and otherwise useless, and you want something to run with, you should buy a smart car to put on your back. Those smart cars, they're really efficient, you know. Like Trust you can, the eco to say that. Like you can go like through London, you can find a parking space. You don't you need a car in London. That's these things called taxis or buses. Oh, I hate those so much. Well, well, having said that, smart cars are very small, as is the PLP50, and it's good if you're trying to save money on your fuel, because the PLP50, when it came out, claimed that it could do 100 miles of gas per gallon. 100 miles per gallon? True. And that concludes this week's news. Right, gentlemen, I'd like to bring your attention to this. This is the PLP50. It's been going for 53 years now, and it is the smallest car in the world ever to be put into production. It was made for me. It is, and I think you even get it in blue. Oh, very nice. Hammond is the only person, well, Patrick's yeah. the only person who actually fits in it though. Yes, so that. If we broke off Kai and Josh's legs, we'd probably get them in too. That is the I original do. PLP 50. And now, as we are about, as you are about to see, this is the PLP 30, available in all good retailers. and. This has been put into production by us to celebrate 53 years of PLP 50s. We've called it the PLP 30 and it is amazing as we have been finding out. These are the three models of the PLP 30 originally styled on the original 1962 PLP 50. This is the Range Rover of the PLP30 range, a strong, sturdy, practical car. This is the 911 of the PLP30 range, light, quick, stable. This is the BMW 3 Series, the family saloon capable of a lot of things and capable of surprising a few. All these are worthy of the title of the best P50. P30 rather. Well, the appeal P50 originally sold for £199 and one recently sold in auction for £120,000, so they have shot up in value. And I think that the PLP P30, 50 years from now, will be worth the millions. And I think we're all going to receive knighthoods now. Some say he was once arrested on suspicion of eating cheese. And others say that he has recently been spotted in the Alps playing golf with Jose Mourinho. All we know is, he's called the Stig. And three, two, one, go! No, 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 BBC, health and safety, they're mad on this crap. Put it on.
Here is our board for the lap times. P. So it all comes down to this. The big red P30 came in 20 seconds. And um, what distance was this again? It was a couple hundred metres. And um, Patrick, wow. if you want to do the small red one. So, the small... Seen as you're the small one. The best things come in small packages, I'll have you know. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Carry on. Anyway, so yes, the small red one came in at 17 seconds. It goes above it, you fool. Whoops. <laughs> well done. Can you reach? Okay. Big things come in small packages, like his brain. Right, <laughs> and yeah, coming in at Please do not judge Joshua here, he only has one brain cell. We don't want to use it too much, it runs out quickly. Just get on with it. These people are wasting their lives, as I said earlier. They do not want to listen to your big critics. Coming in at 14 seconds really to win the score. Top Gear lap board for the POP30, it is the blue car. You are an idiot. You didn't teach us one single thing. Or in China, as they call him, a try. You can't say that. You say stuff all the time. You're an idiot. Thank Can you. you two just stop bickering and get on with it? These people are spending their time watching this. Yes, and it went well. They have learned a lot about the new Peel P30, and I think everyone's going to go out and buy one. And I think we will now be receiving The only books. reason they're going to buy one is to whack you over the head with it. No. Yes. You have ruined this show. No change there. Well, there's only one thing for it then. I'm going to have to deploy MC Hammer. That is the worst thing you've. Do you even know what MC means? Yes. You don't, you're an idiot! You only think you're an idiot! And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Have a very good time. Good night! Right, kill him! So I got back from school Tuesday afternoon to find out some bad news about arguably one of the greatest TV programmes on this planet. That Jeremy Clarkson's contract with the BBC will not be renewed. This decision should in no way...